Hello, my friend, my family. Here again, we are going to make a sh hopefully short video about uh, uh, dysfunction, electro uh, erectile dysfunction, impotence, shortly. Uh, more and more young people are suffering from this problem now. And uh, uh, just to give you some points how you can check it out if the problem is your mental problem or if the problem is a physical problem. Um, first, I will have to explain what is erection. Well, erection is, principle of erection is the same like principle of inflammation. You have an organ, in this case it's a penis, which inside of it you have a, a body a tissue looking like a sponge, and it's named for it corpora spongiosa. And you have arteries that bring blood in, you have a vein that takes blood out. So if by any way, by any chance, your veins and arteries get constricted, like in inflammation, you still will have pressure enough to push in blood into the penis, but since the vein is constricted, the blood cannot flow out. So this spongious body will be filled with blood and it will increase in size, in size uh, until the pressure equals with the pressure of incoming blood and uh, then it will slowly start coming out but maintaining this erection as long as there is pressure inserted sufficient to prevent blood freely flowing out of uh, your penis. So what inserts this pressure? It is the fascia, it is the connective tissue that is around your penis. And it's connected with the fascia of your pelvic floor and pelvic muscles. These muscles, when they constrict, they make pressure on this fascia that pressurizes your vein and artery. But because the arteries have higher pre blood pressure, blood will continue going in, but it will not be able to come out. And this makes this inflammation, let's call it, in a penis that makes erection possible. Now, if there is a problem with blood vessels, let's say blood vessels are dry. Now, again, with arteries, it's not such a big problem. It's more with the vein, because artery will still be pushing some blood in. But when vein is becoming stiffer, now this moderate pressure that is being done by fascia is not sufficient to stop the blood flow of blood leaving the penis and little by little as stiffer the vein gets the weaker and weaker erection will be but um, as my brother has discovered uh, some 40 years ago in um, experiments that he made uh, i was present in some of those and worked with him on it so he discovered that only less than 5% cases of erectile dysfunction is caused by psychological problem, which means that you have a fear of having sex or fear of the woman which, which you will have sex or something is happening psychologically that doesn't arouse you. So even that you want to, but some fear prevents you from it, and there is no constriction and no erection. Now, some 40 years ago when my brother was doing this experiment, uh, it was widely thought that uh, those um, dysfunctions, erectile dysfunctions in young men, or at that time it was not happening in young men, it was in older men, is because for a period of 15, 20 years they are living with the same woman, so there is a a lack of interest which then uh, results with a, a low or no erection. Well, my brother has proven that this is not the case, that more than 90% cases, problem is actually physical, that there is not, blood flow is not correct in penis. And even less than 5% was strictly mental. Now, how can you distinguish if your problem is mental or physical. 
Well, my brother was doing it with oscillograph, with a flexible, with a sensitive rubber band that would then measure the increase of uh, thickness of a penis, and it would be s it would be printed on a paper. These machines are pretty expensive and unnecessary. You can do this at home. You can take one of those tie-outs, flexible tie-outs that are used to tie up the wires on your electronics and loop it around base of your penis and just make one twist. Okay, one twist and then tie it as far as the base of your penis is and leave it like this and sleep with it. In the morning when you wake up, if the tie-up is still in place, you have a psychological, uh, you have um, a physical problem because erection did not happen. Normally during the night we have two erections. One is about in about uh, midnight, 12 o'clock at night, and one is in early morning, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. They come automatically as a part of a servicing because body is being serviced during the night and all the mechanisms are being checked like when pilot goes into the plane before you take off well pilot checks the flaps the, the, the hydraulics the electrical everything but it does the same thing in the morning before he wakes up and also does the thing at night before he goes to sleep so it knows what to fix and then check if it was fixed in the morning so part of this this regular maintenance problem you will have two erections if these erections do not occur your mind is not involved here this is a strictly physical thing so if these erections do not occur if in the morning you wake up and the uh, tie is still the same or it's just slightly wider then you know that you have very weak erection or no erection and it is not caused by your mind because your mind was out of question here it is strictly physical, which means that your blood circulation is not right. And you have to search problem, you have to solve the problem in, in this way. If the tie is no more on your penis, and when you look for it and it's completely opened, or, or it is open, because once when you open these ties, they stay in a position as they are, they don't shrink back. So it has to be some wire that will uh, remain in the way you bent it. Okay, so this this is important when you do this test. And um, if you find it open like this, well, you had erection. So if you cannot have it while you have it with your woman, then it's a mental problem, because physically, your body showed you during the night as regular maintenance, you have a perfect erection. So once when you determine this. And I can assure you, it will almost always be the physical problem, blood, problem of blood circulation. Then you have to go and search help here. Before we did not know, and my brother spent all his life installing prosthesis. Um, now we know, we know, we know, yes, yeah, some of us know, the how to fix it. So basically you have to reanimate your system. How do you do it? You have to cleanse it and you have to basically regenerate it. And this is done through clean environment and change of frequency of the environment which comes through your food. So if you change your food, you have big chances that quite quickly you can fix this problem. Uh, my father-in-law, uh, he had a, a problem with high blood pressure, problem with high blood pressure, yeah, this is doctor terminology, uh, and for 20 years or 25 years he was on um, diuretics, which was at that time very popular. Uh, later on came beta blockers. Um, but also uh, he was given statins because the cholesterol you know was getting high and this is normal i explained many times how the cholesterol uh, why it is high and um, 
he decided, well, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's dis disease. And uh, my uh, wife told me, oh, please help my father. So we said, okay, we'll let him go with us on a cruise. We lived on a yacht at that time. And 40 days we were on a cruise and we were monitoring his father. We threw all his pills away and put him on a proper diet and hydration with water and sea salt. And um, his heart was getting better and better. Pressure was coming down. And what happened is that uh, in about, uh, it was about three weeks, four weeks, with him happened very quickly. Uh, I know it was less than 40 days because we still were not in, in um, uh, Venezuela. We are still on cruise. When one day him and his wife came from a cockpit laughing and uh, poking each other with elbow. So finally my wife uh, asked, what is the thing? And her mother said, well, we are on our second honeymoon. Why? Because uh, all of a sudden uh, his penis started to work properly. Uh, and we were not even concentrating on it. We're just doing general health, helping the blood circulation, cleansing it and uh, helping reestablish a proper function of the body and stop the progress and not only stopping the progress but reverse the Alzheimer. And we have achieved all of this through self healers protocol. So the, the plus benefit was restoring the proper erection. Uh, easy to do, but you have to be smart enough to accept the new understanding of medicine, medical problems, because everything we are told in medical school, and it's paraded even through mythology, even through um, uh, different um, uh, beliefs of spirituality. Uh, we have to put all these things on in the side because these are all old understanding. They come from the same box which was completely wrong. We have to accept the new knowledge and we will heal. There is nothing that can stop us from healing but our own mind being programmed in certain way that will not accept the change. So I hope I made some sense to you. Again, if you need help with this. If you want to know more, uh, feel free to contact me. Uh, I'm always available to help. Thank you for being here. Love you.